You may have heard of a seller leaseback, but what is it and how does it work? That's what we're talking about today. Thanks for joining. I'm Ashley Novak. I'm a local real estate agent here in Los Angeles. We post new videos here every Wednesday with real estate tips and about the local area. If that's something of interest to you, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification button so you will never miss a video. So what is a leaseback? A leaseback is when a homeowner sells their property and leases it back from the buyer after the closing for an agreed upon time by both parties. Why would a seller want to lease back the property? There are many reasons why a seller may want to lease back the property, but in this hot seller's market, sellers become buyers after the sale and they may have a difficult time purchasing a new property if their equity is tied up in the sale of their home. A lease back allows the seller to close on their current home and have the cash in hand from the sale to purchase their replacement property while still having a place to live after the property closes. Getting offers accepted contingent on the sale of a property was tough a few years ago, but now it's nearly impossible. So why would a buyer want to lease back their new property to the seller? Most buyers are super excited to move into their new property and being a landlord to the previous owner may not be ideal, but in this market, there are way more buyers than there are houses for sale, so sweetening the deal for the seller by offering a lease back and making the seller's life less stressful may be the cherry on top that gets your offer accepted. Of course, this isn't possible for everyone, but I've seen sellers simply accept an offer because a buyer was able to provide them peace of mind through offering a lease back if the seller needed it. All situations are different and in California, this should be agreed to by both parties with a seller in possession or residential lease after sale document added to the contract. Some items that you will want to address are defining the rental period. If it's a cash purchase, then the lease back timeframe can be as many days as the seller and buyer agree to. If the buyer purchased with a loan, most lenders require the lease back to be 59 days or less, but you will want to verify with the buyer's lender as different lenders have different lending requirements. How will the rent be paid? I think the best way is to have the seller pay any rent deposits, etc., up front through escrow so there are no issues, but that is something the seller and buyer will need to agree to. How much will the rent be? There are a few ways to determine the rent amount. The seller can pay the daily rate of the principal interest, taxes, and insurance, or an agreed upon amount if it's a cash purchase. In this market, there are times when buyers are leasing back the property for $1 or a low amount to once again sweeten the deal for the seller to up their chances of getting their offer accepted. Will there be a security deposit? How much will the security deposit be? How will the security deposit be held? Will it be held in escrow or given directly to the buyer? How are late charges handled? Who pays for the utilities? What are the seller's responsibilities to maintain the property? Does the seller need to carry renter's insurance? How will the rent be paid? Will it be paid in advance or in arrears? Will the seller write a check to the buyer or will it be held in an escrow account? Personally, I think the best practice is to have the money held in an escrow account and paid through escrow, and if there is an overpayment, to have escrow distribute to the seller after the property is vacated. This was a lot of information, and if you are considering buying or selling, we would love to sit down with you and create a strategy for your specific scenario so you feel confident and prepared for your home buying or selling journey. In the description below, we have included links to a seller and buyer's guide, along with some other great tips, videos, and resources, and all of our information so you can easily reach us. Drop a comment or like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button to get weekly content on all things real estate. We are so grateful for you and we look forward to seeing you back here next week. Cheers.